Hey everybody, welcome back. So let's do this. We are trying on all the things from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I had shared a sneak peek on Instagram of a few things I bought. And then if you watched my previous video, which I will link below, was showing you what all I bought. Well, I put in, I don't know if I mentioned that video, a beauty order, which I'll do a separate video for, and another clothing order. And I was fortunate enough to only have one item out of my original order be canceled. That was that two-tone, like, um, baseball looking tee. So I was upset about that, but maybe I can still try to get it. So speaking of, early access is still going on at the time you're seeing this video. And then public access actually starts tomorrow, which is Friday the 20th. A lot of things they try to restock. Some things come back in and out of stock for public access. I always tell people this. I found this out last year as well. Just keep rechecking because there's always things coming in and out of stock. Now some things, you know, if you don't grab early with early access, sometimes you can't get the color or the size you want. I know that happened to me last year, but again, just keep checking because a lot of things do uh, eventually come back in. So let's get into this before it's too long. I actually had to break this up in two different days and I'm still waiting on one of my orders. So I will put some pictures in here of the additional things I ordered. Sorry, I can't try them on for you, but that is also a good reason to follow me on Instagram. Put my name right here because I often show all my outfit stuff on there. Two things I want to talk about that I did not try on for you in the haul, and I'll give you my reasons why, and I'm going to let you know what worked and what didn't. Not just like, oh, everything's great. There are a few things I didn't love. So these booties right here, these are the Blondo waterproof booties, and I did not try these on. I have tried them on, but I didn't try them on in the video because I put the Vince Camutos on, and they're still on my feet, <laughs> and they're so comfortable. I'm like, yep. Those are the ones I'm keeping. So I knew when I ordered both, I was probably gonna keep one or the other. But last year, I did not have good luck with the Vince Camuto. I ordered a couple colors and sizes and they just did not fit me right. They looked so cute on everybody. This year's version, however, I'm absolutely loving and they fit true to size and you'll see that in the video. So these, I do like the look of them and I like the color and they were very comfortable. However, they didn't win out over the vents. Second thing I couldn't try on was a pair of jeans. Not only did I size down in them, I'm kind of in between sizes in jeans. I'm like a 28 or 29, um, which is like a six or an eight. It like really depends on the kind of jean, the stretch, the style. I mean, I can wear all kinds of sizes. Anyway, I sized down to a 28 in these. I could barely get them on my calf. So there was no way I was trying to zip them up. Now, keep in mind my body type, I don't know if I'd call it athletic. Like what I always refer to it is my bottom half is definitely bigger. I have hips and a butt. I definitely have like, think of like cheerleader butt hips thighs. You know, thicker calves, legs, muscular. That's my body type. So, you know, I'm not a skinny mini fitting into some jeans. And I probably screwed myself a little by sizing down. I should have probably stuck to um, a 29. But again, I'm in between. I've been buying a lot of 28s lately and they're fine. Sometimes those are even too big. It just, again, I'm all over the place. These are the rag and bone. These were the striped, um, what do they actually call these? High rise skinny ankle and they are the indigo tuck so they are the one i shown with the really cool dark stripe down the side and to me they don't look like particularly extra skinny or anything it's just i don't know if the material gives as much so wasn't loving those so let's start out with what i actually tried on yesterday and i was losing some light so i didn't get a try on everything so first of all this blue jumpsuit i posted this on my instagram so many of you said you liked it thank you so much for the nice compliments when i first got this the color threw me off a little i was expecting you know royal blue it has like a slight purpley kind of undertone to it more so than I was expecting um but it grew on me pretty quick because at first when I saw it I was like oh man maybe I should have got the black or the red because it comes in those two other colors but once I tried it on I was like no and usually blue is like my best color I always gravitate towards blue tried it on I was like man this fits really good so it fits true to size I'm wearing a six I almost always wear a six in Vince Camuto and in a jumpsuit because I usually need it for the length, even though I'm not that tall, you know, I'm 5'5". Five five. Um, I find that I often need a six. In a dress, 
I can wear usually a four, but so keep that in mind. It is true to size. And again, I'm 5'5". Five five. I ordered the regular length because a lot of times petite will be too short waisted or too short in general. So I do need it hemmed a little bit, but not a ton. I think on the website, it says to size up, let it run small. I don't find that to be the case. I always wear six in that brand. And again, I'm usually like a four or six in a dress or jumpsuit. So to me, if it's true to size, it has a little bit of stretch to it. So I still think if you were in between sizes, you may be able to make it work if you wore um, Spanx or something under it because. So this next dress, I loved it on the website. And when I got it home in person, I loved it even more. The colors are so pretty. I I threw on a belt with it because I just thought it needed a little something. Of course, you don't have to. It has an elasticized waist. Um, this is in a size small. It fits very true to size, I feel like. It does have kind of like a half slip attached. Of course, I needed to uh, steam it, but I wasn't gonna take the time to do that, you know, for the trial, because again, I said I was losing some light. What I like with this is you can wear it now when it's still summer, it's a perfect dress for summer, and then you can wear it later. So at first I have on some wedges with it. You could of course wear just a nude block heel would look great as well. And then for fall, throw on a cardigan. This one you'll see again later, but I just thought the colors, you know, looked cute with it. And throw on like a little nude ankle booty and now it's more for fall. Because of all the color variation in it, I feel like it runs both summer and fall. So a great transition dress. Again, get a lot of bang for your buck. So this I absolutely loved. I was a little nervous that it might be too small. I love loungewear. I mean, don't we all? Um, this was super comfy. I loved the color. It comes in a couple other colors. I sized up to a medium and I do that a lot in loungewear because I don't want anything to be tight. I definitely could not have worn a small. The pants would have been too tight and the arms on the um, sweatshirt would have been too tight. This is kind of like a brushed terry material. So it's not super heavy. Um, it's just very comfortable. It has a drawstring waist. You know, it's a little long on me in the length. I found it to be almost on the tad too short-waisted, like too low cut for me. I would have liked it to maybe been an inch higher in the inseam. Um, I don't like my loungewear to be too high, but I don't want it riding too low. It's one of those, you know, you have to pull it down a little bit or I don't know, it just ride up and look tight and funny, if you know what I mean. So, but I really like this, I'm keeping it. Um, I think it's flattering and it was very comfortable. All right, so next would be these jeans. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a little story about these. These crop flare jeans. So I was kind of making fun, like who are they supposed to be cropped for? Somebody like 5'10", somebody six foot. Well, holding them up against me, they looked ridiculous. So I did try them on. They don't work, unfortunately. They look better on than I was thinking, but the denim was very, very soft. I actually think if they would have been an inch or two shorter on me, they would have looked really good, exactly how I wanted them, exactly how they look in the picture online. But I should have known on me, a lot of times, if something says cropped, it's not going to be cropped on me. You need to make things in different lengths. Tall, regular, short. I feel like every pair of pants need to come in tall, regular, and short or petite, whatever you want to say. But so anyway, um, sadly, I can't use these. So the t-shirt, it's actually the same one as I have on here, but in white. I find this to be way too see-through. I saw so many people with this shirt and to me, it's just too see-through. I sized down to an extra small because last year I got these shirts um, in the long sleeve and I got a small and it was way too big. So I thought this year, let me get an extra small. Well, this one, in the stripe seems fine in an extra small, but the white one seems too tight and too see-through, I feel like. I don't know, I just don't love the white in this one, but I do like the stripe. So I'm not gonna keep the white. I mean, it's just okay. Um, these Tory Burch flip-flops. Sadly, I'm returning these. I feel like they look good on everybody else and the leather quality feels amazing. Such good quality. If you've never had Tory Burch shoes or handbag, I mean, it's really great quality. They come really nicely packaged. Again, I shared this on my Instagram. 
just beautiful quality. However, I don't love this style on me. I have two pairs of Millers and I much prefer the Millers. To me, the Millers are more comfortable. This does have a nice squishy footbed and I love the color and the style. I just think the strap goes way too high up on my foot. Like I need a little more going on on my foot. I don't like that much of my foot and my toes showing. Like it looks kind of off balance on me personally. So sadly, I'm gonna return these, but again, they're a beautiful shoe and many of you probably would love them. So I just threw on some joggers I have here so I could show you these Adidas shoes. Love these. I have not owned a pair of Adidas in many, many years. My husband actually just bought a pair and he loves them. I'm a sucker for a gray shoe anyway. So I have a lot of gray shoes, even tennis shoes, but I absolutely love these. They're so comfortable. They run true to size. I'm a seven, I bought a seven. They do come in pink as well. So if you'd rather have the pink, um, but these were great and you couldn't beat the price. Anytime you can get a, you know, athletic shoe under a hundred bucks is great. So I just kept the t-shirt on and I'm gonna keep it on for a few things here. Threw on my own pair of jeans, um, those Vince booties and this red cardigan. This was one of the cardigans that I tried to get last year and I could not. I got it in the gray, if you guys remember. I'd shown it on my Instagram a few times, love it. It's so soft, it has a little bit of cashmere in it. So again, it's just super soft. Nice lightweight. This would be a great cardigan for those of you that live in warmer climates like Florida where it doesn't, you know, you don't have too much of a winter. Sometimes we have a winter here in Alabama, sometimes not. I'm in Northern Alabama, so we can even get snow sometimes. So this cardigan is great for you guys. If you are thinking, oh my gosh, I can't with all this fall and winter clothing going on in the sale, this would be a great pick. It comes in many other colors. It runs true to size. I buy a small because I don't, like my cardigans to be too tight, you know? And I definitely don't want anything too tight in the shoulder. So to me, I like the small. This year's is a little bit different because it does have a slit um, on the sides where I went in my closet and checked. The one last year does not, but other than that, it looks identical. I even read um, on the label and the labels look identical. So I was really happy with this red. I hope it's showing up true to color. I did take a picture of it. Um, it's a very nice red. It's not like too tomato-y red or anything, which I usually can't wear. So let's talk these Vince booties. They, one, are so soft. The suede on them is very, very soft to the touch. The heel is a great height. I really love a low heel booty in the fall. And again, like I said, the um, ones from last year, they just did not fit me right. These to me are way more comfortable and even nicer than the ones last year. These do come in a couple of different colors. This color to me is absolutely perfect because it's that true taupe color. It could kind of pull anything. You know, if you actually had on brown or black or just, you know, with jeans, it could go with everything. I really like that side slit because it shows the ankle and looks really nice. And again, I'm wearing my true size seven. So I feel like I'm gonna lose my place here because some things I took a picture of and some things I didn't. So I'm not sure in what order these are, but this trench coat, this, I love it on, I'm just not sure it's exactly what I was looking for. It has a detachable puffer vest, as you can see. It's like a real deep navy looking. Um, very comfortable on, I love the double breasted. Why I bought this is I was looking for one that went you know, closer to my knees. I have like shorter jackets and things like that, but I wanted something longer. However, this material is very similar to that tan jacket you guys see me wear all the time. I posted pictures on Instagram, it travels with me everywhere. It's just a shorter jacket. This material is just like that. And I was looking for something slightly heavier, um, not so much canvassy. Like I have other trench coats that are more, I don't know, they're almost more like that black um, rain jacket I shown too in my recent like Scotland pictures on Instagram. Like that's a little bit heavier, almost a little more weather resistant. This is like a true canvassy just jacket. And so if you took that puffer vest out, it would be kind of thin, I feel like. So I like the look of it. It's very pretty. It's a size small, so I feel like it fits true to size. Um, it's a little oversized looking if you don't cinch it up. Um, so it can look a little sloppy being the double breasted if you don't cinch it in the middle with the belt. But I like it, but I think I'm gonna send it back. I'm kind of on the fence about it because I do like it. I just don't know that it's 
exactly what I need, but I wanted to show it to you guys because it's a really nice jacket. So this striped tee, the yellow and white, um, I actually have the navy from last year, but I feel like this is longer in length. I'm not sure that they're the exact same top, but I've been looking for a yellow and white striped tee for I don't know how long, at least this whole spring and summer. Um, and I thought, you know what? I know I like the tees from last year that were on sale. I believe they're cast on. I got it in a size small. Um, so I thought, let me try this. So I do like it. However, again, I feel like it's a little longer than the one last year. It just feels a little bit different. So I paired it with the navy cardigan that's just like the gray I already own and the red one. Um, last year I was looking for a navy cardigan, some of you may remember. I could just never find what I wanted and I could never get it in this one in particular. It was always sold out. So I do really like this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep both the red and the blue. I need both colors. I'm kind of on the fence. So here again is the striped t-shirt that I do have on and they call them the raw edge tees because the raw edge here at um, the v-neck so that's why it's noticeable in some colors and some not. It comes in a lot of different colors. Again I'm kind of not sure what to tell you about sizing because I felt like one fit small and one fit regular so it depends on how you like them to fit. I'm typically a small in a t-shirt even sometimes a medium because I don't like them to be tight. So I paired it here with this really pretty um, corally, I don't know, it's almost like a rusty coral cardigan, um, an open cardigan. Those are my favorite in the fall because I just feel like you can throw them on with anything and I really like it over stripes. I think this color looks really pretty over stripes. You saw it again before over that dress that's stripes. So I really like this. It's a true size small. I have the sleeves rolled up here because it was a little long on me. It's very similar to that cream color Leith one um, that was like the number one seller during the sale last year. I have that. I've again shown that on Instagram. I think with a few things but particularly I think most recent probably with a black dress. So I do really like this sweater a lot and I like the color. Again the whole outfit just is very fall with to me a striped t-shirt whether it be long sleeve short sleeve any kind of tee is great for layering in the wind you know in the fall and then a pop of color with the cardigan okay so we're getting into now the more standalone sweaters I have some lightweight ones and then one little bit heavier so here's this shirt this is the shirt I explained in my last video that I saw it on everybody and it looked great on everybody and it almost had like a sexy look to it for being like a v-neck kind of Henley type top which typically I stay away from I just don't like that look on me now I get why everybody had it on and it makes me want it in the cream color which I didn't get um, and this is possibly sold out I haven't rechecked yet but I'm wearing a size small I love the way it fits you know I of course with all my shirts t-shirts I do kind of like a little front tuck or half tuck in my pocket the V to me is like just right um, I don't like showing cleavage at all and this to me is just right it's not too stuffy again it fits great just enough to be like sexy put together you know be great if you're going to like a football game or you know anything in the fall sorry i feel like i'm trying to get through this so fast it's like i want to give you guys information but yet um you don't want this video being so so long so this sweater is another one again that was very popular the more i kept seeing it on everybody i was like that looks really good let me try that i ended up buying it in the hot pink because if you remember from my previous video i said oh i wish i would have I'm kind of on the fence about it. One, I think, I'm not sure how I love this color. You guys let me know. A lot of people you see wearing it off the shoulder. I wouldn't wear it like that. The V is kind of deep, but not enough to where, you know, it's scandalous or anything. It's a little bit shorter waisted, so it's not a real long sweater. It's almost more like a heavier um, knit like, or a heavier like Henley kind of knit. So it doesn't feel really like a true sweater. It feels like a heavier long sleeve t-shirt really. So this would be great again for those of you in warmer climates that want a cute sweater that's not too heavy. So this sweater I really like. Um, I love the gray color but when I tried on a couple after it now I'm not sure about this because I think I like those better. I'm not sure about the side slit. Um, I think it's fine because it doesn't go up too high where it's like really at your waist. And I like how long it is in the back. So it would be great for leggings or anything like that. Um, and it's really comfortable. I do really like it. However, I like, I think the two sweaters I tried on after better. This is a true to size small. Again, the color is great. Would look great with so many things because it's a little bit 
dressier, I guess if you want to say that, a little bit sleeker looking line than the two you're going to see after. I just really like it. Again, I'm kind of on the fence about to keep this though because of the next one. So this next one, and this color is perfect. I was really happy I could get this sweater because I just knew, I saw it online, it thought it looked great, and then I saw a few people try it on on Instagram. I was like, I've gotta have this. So I got it in two colors. The first, this kind of, I don't know what they actually call it, if it's like tan or taupe. I will list it for you below. This is true size small. It has some stretch to it and it's definitely long. I just think it's so flattering. You could do like a little front tuck, a side tuck. You could leave it long. I just feel like it's a very flattering sweater and I think it would look great on a lot of people. It feels like it has cashmere in it. I don't recall if it does. I don't believe so, but it has that softness to it, which I love. And again, I think this would look good on so many people and it's a lightweight sweater. So for those of you, again, looking for lightweight sweaters, this would be a great one. So the last thing for today, and again, I'll insert some pictures here then of the other things. This sweater, I liked it on everybody else I saw. Again, it seemed like a really popular item. It came in two other colors. This creamy white seems to go in and out of stock. I'm returning this one. I didn't like it on me. I got a small and it seemed way too big, but yet the neck, it's kind of tight getting it on. Um, it didn't seem so once I got it on. And the balloon sleeves are very cute, but I just didn't love it. To me, it just wasn't my style. And this is a little bit heavier sweater, so I don't think I really need it. I'd rather layer up or put one of my nice coats on than a really heavy sweater where I live. So it's cute, and I know a lot of you would like it, and it'd be perfect where you live. It's just not for me. So I did order some black peep toe booties because I am in need of some with a chunky heel. I have some with a thin heel. These look great. I feel like, I'm not sure how I like them the black, but I've seen them in the two other colors on people and they absolutely look great. These are probably one of the best sellers from the sale. And again, Vince booties, when they're on sale during the anniversary sale, grab them because you save like 50 bucks or more if it's something you need anyway. So I did get the black. And then I got this one. It's a um, kind of it's a beige color. And again, I've seen this on some people. It looks great. I'm not sure how I like it on me. It looks kind of thin, but I liked the sleeve and just the overall look of it. So we'll see how it works. So stay tuned. I will hopefully be doing my beauty haul, what I bought from the sale. And definitely follow me on Instagram because anything that is coming in later orders, that's where I'll be sharing it. Hopefully I didn't miss anything, but I will link that previous video below again that shows you everything I was ordering. So be sure to check that out. If you're not already subscribed, please do so so you don't miss any future videos. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. I know there's a lot of these videos out there. So again, thank you. I really appreciate it. Leave me your comments below on what you're getting, what you liked. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.